Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Pench and welcome back to Chef. So first things first, the restaurant name. Once again, we have rebranded. We're trying to keep it fresh and exciting and all that kind of stuff. So we're rebranding, we're giving it a whole new name. We've had a couple of restaurant names that were in French. Last time out, the restaurant name was in Spanish. This time, we've gone for Italian. Italy, very famous, very foody place. You know, pasta and pizzas and all that kind of stuff. They like their cooking and you know, olives and all that sort of thing. So I thought we'd go for Italian and I decided to call the restaurant Pantaloni in Fiamme. I like that. That's very good. It's very sort of a passionate, very Italian, very fiery, you could say. I do like that. So there we go. That's what the restaurant is now called. Hopefully people will come in and decide to, you know, have a lovely meal at the Pantaloni in Fiamme. If only for them to be able to say that name in an Italian accent, because it's quite a lot of fun to say. <laughs> go on, have a little go right now. Go on. There you go. Was it good? I hope you enjoyed it. There you go. So, what are we going to be doing today in the Pantaloni in Fiamme? I might be saying that entirely wrong, but do you know what? It's still fun to say anyway. We're going to try and sort out two kind of things. We want to get some soups and some desserts. That's our goals for today. Soups and desserts. So, last time out, we expanded the menu a little bit. Not any great deal. We spent quite a bit of time adding, uh, time and money, adding in the final tables we can fit in. Now, that is a little bit of a fib. Because we can fit one table right in front of the door. I don't think that's the right thing for us to do. I don't think just chucking a table on the welcome mat there is going to be any good. So we got some more tables in. We put a few new menu items on. Not very much, I don't think. I can't quite recall exactly what we did. And then we spent some time in the kitchen. And we replaced some of our old items with some new items. So we got ourselves a new oven which is there, eventually, after a little bit of an error by, by me. So yeah, got a new oven. Essentially, it's a double oven. It's a double oven. It's twice as big as the previous one we had. And then we got ourselves a bigger and better grill. So we're no longer grilling Uncle Bob. We've got a different grill. Put an extra fridge in, because that brings the ingredients cost down, does it? I think it's like 1% or something like that. So that's fine. That's a good thing. In fact, what do they do? Remind me. Remind me. I can't remember. What does a fridge do? A uh, fridge, 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 fridge. What does it do? Uh, ingredients cost, yeah, 1% cheaper. So do you know what? It, it makes sense in the long run. If I have one of those in, I've now got three. So all our ingredients are 3% cheaper, which is obviously a good thing. And we hired another chef as well. And because we have another chef, we now have another little sort of chopping table, a little choppery table thing there. It's different to the others. I went for the next sort of uh, style up. So these just look a little bit like kind of bog standard benches. I've got a bit at the top and a bit at the bottom. This thing here looks like it's got, you can't quite see from there. It's got little drawers and things. I imagine there's all sorts of nice tools and things in there. So that's very exciting. Now, let's go through and uh, let's spend our... Let's find our experience points. Let's get rid of those first. So we're going to try and work on desserts and some soup. Now we could try, we could unlock fish soup right now. Fish soups are basically a liquid concentrate of sea flavours. So let's get, let's get fish soup. We'll unlock that right now. Or we can go and create ourselves a couple of fish soups. We might get a couple of nice fish kind of dish things there. So that'd be quite nice with our ingredients points. So that's okay. And then I want to get a couple of points here. I do want to get ice cream. I think that's very important. So can we get, if we're going to get ice cream anyway, let's get ice cream just there. That's to do with cookies. I'm not that bothered about that. Pastries, pie quality, cookie quality, fried desserts. Yeah, there's not really much here in sort of, they're very specific targeted things. Uh, okay, well, if we're going for ice cream, let's get ice cream again. Can we now get ice cream? Yes. Right. Unlock ice cream. Thank you very much. Uh, so also we've got fried dessert. Mille fuili. <laughs> that kind of thing. A multi-layered dessert made with puff pastry and filled with creams of any sort. Lovely. Uh, and then we've got unconventional desserts. Uh, then we've got baking school, which is qualities. That's calories. So that makes them healthier. I guess that makes them more appealing to people. And that is the final cost. Okay, that could be interesting. So just here... I think we can get creamy soup as well. So there we go. We've got ourselves the fish soup, some creamy soup, and and ice cream, which is very, very important. Okay, right, that's very exciting. Uh, now, can we... Let's just go to the recipe editor very quickly. Well, I say very quickly. It takes quite a long time to load. It takes about this long to load. Come on, recipe editor. You can do it. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, go down to the bottom. Where's ice cream? Just there. Uh, okay, wow. That's a very fancy ice cream. Uh, I'm just going to call it anything for now. I'm going to call it test because I'm just testing something out. If we go to here, so we need milk, cream and sugar. Now it's put them in automatically. Do we want to go and get ourselves 
tier 3 versions of those? Or will it make no difference at all? Will it make utterly no difference? That milk goes well with green onions, does it? Mmm. Oh, good. <laughs> it goes up. You can't put green onions in ice cream. That way madness lies. That way unhappy customers and definitely unhappy children lie. So, um, milk, cream and sugar. Now, yeah, do I want to get the top versions of those? I'm not really sure how this bit works. When Because you know, they're the default things that it needs. But if I get premium versions of milk, cream and sugar, will that make any difference? Will that up that score from 14 to something else? I'm not sure. Or do we go to, there's dairy just there. So let's say we put eggs in here. So we go, right, nice eggs. That goes up to 44 because we've got tier three eggs. Oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? It's a bit strange. Yeah, we're not using, uh, why have I just put eggs in? That doesn't help in any way, shape or form. I thought one of those was eggs. No, we haven't got milk or cream or sugar at a top tier. I don't think. That's spices. Uh, that is other have we got sugar at the top? Only salt. Milk, cream and sugar. Do you know what? It's probably worth a go. It's probably worth a go. They're not bad things to have anyway. They're not bad things to have. And then we've got fish soups as well. So yeah, we can't have all of those things. We can't have a decent fish dish and all these things at top tier as well. Do we really need top tier sugar? Is that something we desperately need? I love the way there's water as well. Just just water. It's just water. What can it possibly do? And you can have tier three water as well. It's really nice water. It's very it's much more waterier than the other waters. I don't know. Okay, right. Come out of there then. So let's go to the ingredients panel. Let's spend our eleven points. So we're gonna get three top tier ingredients. That's what we're going to do. Last time out, we kind of settled on the fact that this is what we're going to do. We're just going to go straight for the tier threes because I don't see the point of getting the tier twos and the tier ones now. Let's just go straight for tier threes and we'll just slowly but surely work our way up to all of these. I mean, it could take forever, particularly the amount of vegetables there are. <laughs> There's so much veg. Right, let's get ourselves a nice fish for the fish dishes. Now, I don't know anything about fish. We're going to make a soup. What do you put? What do you put in a soup? A fish soup. Um, would you put m monkfish? Monkfish in the soup? Or you wouldn't have oysters. Scallops, I don't know if you would put in a in a fish soup. I'm not sure. Mullet Bataga. Mullet Bataga sounds like a kind of Star Wars bad guy. I think we might go for Mullet Bataga. Just because he sounds like he's from Star Wars. I think that might be fun. Or possibly a swordfish. Because it's got a great big sword thing on its face. That might be fun also. I don't know what else you would put in a soup. Oh, no, no, crab. Crab you could put. Crab you could put in soup. You can have like crab meat and sweet corn soup type things. Oh, that might be what we do. Yeah, let's have crab. Yes, please. Now, where's corn? Where is corn? It's somewhere on this list. I don't think it's over in vegetables though, is it? I don't think it is. I think corn, I mean, they call it corn in America. We would call it sweet corn in the UK, but whatever. I think it's over here somewhere, isn't it? There it is. It's just there. It's under carbs which is unexpected i would not really lump sweet corn or corn as it's on called on here with things like pasta and noodles and couscous and all that but whatever right let's get corn let's get tier three corn and that means we can make like a nice sort of a crab and corn soup type thing i think that's a thing that might happen so yeah we'll have corn so that's lovely we'll we'll confirm those yep so bosh got those right what else would we put in a soup of that nature I kind of feel like if we've got creamy soups, which we do have, we should possibly invest in tier three cream, which might be quite nice. So that would work. And then that leaves us with the two points left and I'm not going to spend those. So next time out, we'll get to treat ourselves to four top tier ingredients because we'll get 10. So 10 plus the two is 12. They cost three each. So we'll be able to get four, which is very, very lovely. That's all part of the plan. It's all part of the really terrible plan. But there we go. I mean, it would take forever. We'd be playing this for so long to get all these ingredients. But there we go. Okay, so we've got that. Now we need to actually go forth and make some of these things. Now, okay, yes, the ice cream's still there. Let's not do that right now. Let's choose a template. Okay, is that the fish soup? Is that what that is? Yes, fish soup. Uh, I mean, okay, it just makes it look relatively unappealing, but okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, oh, that one. No, no, that one there. That looks a little bit more like what I'm going for. Okay, so this is going to be the crab and sweet corn sort of thing. What should we call that? There we go, I quite like that. Crabby but sweet, because crabby, because it's got crab in, but sweet, because it's got sweet corn in. There we go, that'll do. So, yes, it can go into soups. I don't think it can. Oh, it can go into appetizers. Oh, so some of these can go into appetizers. Well, do you know what? We'll have a soup for now. And then this, when we have this implemented on our menu, we will take off the 
whatever the default option is. There's a default soup on there, which is like a fish soup thing. So yeah, we'll take that off. So right, let's get this done then. Right, so we can have... Oh, we can have three fish. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we do have quite a few tier three fish on there. Uh, well, let's have crab, which puts it up to 69. I mean, I don't... Can we combine all these? Can we combine cod? What if we take a tuna out? Take tuna away and put carp in. Is that any better? That's 74. And then if we put in the tuna, it goes up to 96. Okay, yeah, okay. So crab, tuna, and cod. <laughs> this is this is a very odd mix of things. And then chuck a load of corn in as well to make it 116. Right, it's a bit sweet, apparently. So maybe, maybe we should go here. Maybe we should put some saffron in it just for the sake of it. There we go. Right, 121. Lovely. Right, come back to this. Um, can we get black pepper in there at all? That'd be nice. We need to upgrade that black pepper because we use it quite a lot, to be fair. We do use a lot of that. <laughs> it just We just don't ever do much with it. Peas. Sweet corn and peas. Oh, no. Definitely not peas as a primary ingredient. Absolutely not. No, not even as a, as a secondary ingredient. Okay. Uh, what goes well with crabs? Uh, peas and soy sauce. Okay. What if we put some soy sauce in? 156. This is very good. This is very good indeed. Okay, tuna. Right, what about chucking some more veg in? What about chucking some veg in? Oh, hang on. Garlic is always good to put in dishes, isn't it? Garlic goes well with everything. Yes. 182. Are we going to be able to make it better than this? 186 if you chuck some carrots in. Oh, this is lovely. What about onion? What if we put onion in? 185. No. Uh, potatoes, just to bulk it out a bit. 184. Okay, fish soup. What if we made a creamy fish soup? Dairy. What if we chucked in some cream? 185. It's not going to help if we put it in as a main ingredient, is it? 188. 188. Okay, okay, right. Yes, it works very well. Okay, that's good. That's encouraging. Uh, and uh, oh, butter. Butter goes well with cod. 187. But let's get some butter and put it there. 186. Do you know what? I think that's pretty good. So, crab and tuna and cod, even though it's called crabby but sweet. But do you know what? Never mind. It makes the dish nicer. So, with corn and for some reason saffron that I just sort of threw in and some carrots and then some cream. <laughs> this sounds horrendous. Black pepper, soy sauce and garlic. <laughs> I don't think I'd have it, but whatever. Um, okay. Yeah, let's do that now. Now that is balanced by sourness, saltiness and bitterness. Can we put in, say, some lemon and lime to try and offset the the saltiness and the bitterness. It's gone up to 192. And I don't... Hang on, have I changed anything there? 190 to... Uh, what if we put blueberries in? Whatever that happens. 191. Hang on, can we put blueberries in there? Makes it 190. No, okay. I think... I mean, that's just gone up more than it was previously. But okay, right. Save that quick. Save that quick. Crabby but sweet... Let's put that onto the menu so we can get rid of mussel soup. Bye-bye, mussel soup. Sorry if you really enjoyed it. And then we can throw in crabby but sweet. Hang on, what? The price is $39.37? What? Really? That's quite expensive. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. $39.37 monies? Are you sure... Are you sure about that? Maybe that's not the best use of all those ingredients. Maybe we just need to put one thing in. Uh, there is a delete button. I've never pressed this. Let's let's press that. Oh, just delete it. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Let, let's do that again. But let's not put all the fish in and see if it's not quite as extortionate. Ah, now it was the saffron. You take the saffron out and the price came tumbling right down. I took the two fish out as well. It's come down to 11.76. It's the crab. Look how expensive crab is. But do you know what? I'm quite happy with that. 191. Yes, we'll save that. And then we can go to the menu. And yeah, that's a little bit more reasonable. So that is a very expensive but exciting soup. That that's going to be probably the most expensive thing on the menu. That can be... 16. There we go. Again, I've got no pricing structure. That's fine. And we'll up liquid vitamins and that thing. Okay, now let's go make ourselves... That was one of those. That was a fish soup. So now how about if we make ourselves... Scroll, scroll, scroll. A creamy soup. It's like a creamy tomato. That might be quite nice. Just a basic cream... That's not tomato looking though, is it? There we go. There we go. Like that. So yeah, let's make a sort of tomato-y soup. 
I'm going to call it tomato tomato soup because, you know, I'm in the UK. I say tomato, like with a tamar, but I know the US, you folks in the US watching, you say tomato or tomato. So that's tomato and of course it's soup. So that'll do. I'm going to put it in the soups thing. Right. How is this going to work then? So we need to go to there and go down here and get ourselves lovely tier three tomatoes. Already it's on 80, which is always very encouraging. So let's just uh, chuck some garlic in. Makes it go up to 99 if we put it there. What if we put it there? 118. Okay, that's lovely. Uh, then we want... Do we want another primary vegetable up there? Another vegetable. What about potatoes? To bulk it out a bit. That makes it up to 139. What goes well with tomatoes? Onions. Tomatoes and onions make it up to 111? Have I got those numbers wrong? Uh, the colours, sorry. I, was, I thought it said on the little tutorial thingamajigger. I thought it said that when you look at something... I thought it said blue is a brilliant kind of flavour match. Uh, yellow is good and and green is okay. Is it the other way round? No, now it's now it's just is that is that being weird? I don't know. Right, let's put onion but hang on, now that onion isn't making much difference either. Now it's on 180 I don't know what's coming on. Was that like that before? Okay, so I can't put onion in at the top. I thought I'd already put onion in at the top. Okay, no. So now onion is not working well with this. Unless you put it as a minor ingredient. And then it's 130, which is lovely. Right, okay. Now, what would go well with this? Things like this. Basil or basil. Another US American pronunciation thing going on there. Put some black pepper in. Maybe we could put a little bit of chili pepper in just to make it... Oh, no, that just ruins the whole kind of thing. So a garlicky tomato -y soup. Ah, we need some cream. If it's a creamy soup, we should possibly get our fancy cream and add that in to make it taste worse. Yay! 153. There we go. Lovely. So it's not vegan friendly, but that's fine. We'll cope with that, I think, because it's a creamy soup. I think they'll be fine with that. So tomatoes. Do you want to put anything else in? Like peas or something. Just chuck some peas in. There we go. I mean, they can be mushed down. It's just sort of, it's a substance. That's nice. Um, and what is that? It's very sour. Balanced by sweetness. Can we add sugar? That would be... That would work. Can we do that? Which one is sugar? And I forget. It's other, isn't it? Sugar is the other. Can we just add some sweetness? 175. Good Lord, that's excellent. Okay. I think that's fine. It's still a little bit sour, if anything. I mean, could we add some stock? I mean, stock. Actually, we've got... Do we not need water for a soup? Do we not need some form of water? Vegetable stock might work. <laughs> what if we had normal stock? Normal stock and vegetable stock. Let's take the vegetable stock out. Uh, no, okay. So we need a lot of different stock. That's fine. I can cope with that. Um, what else sets... What else off balance is that? It's strengthened by bitterness, balanced by sweetness, and lightly balanced by fatness. Strengthened by bitterness. So that just makes it go up more. Yeah, we don't want that. Although that does make the... If we put tea leaves in the soup, it makes it get... It makes it nicer if you have it as a minor ingredient. 177. Do you know what? I'm, I'm fine with that. I think that is an excellent soup right there. Tomatoes and nothing else really. What if we chuck something in? What if we just put some carrots in? What if you just go, there you go, carrots at the top. 168. That doesn't work. Away with you, carrots. Away with you, carrots. You've ruined everything. Broccoli. 141. Oh, broccoli. You're absolutely out of there. Cabbage. 141. Yeah, nobody likes you, cabbage. Let's be fair. Cauliflower. 141. Just, just isn't happening, is it? Just is not happening. Can we chuck some mushrooms in there? Definitely not just there. And down here, perhaps? No. Do you know what? I'm happy with that. We'll save that. So tomato, tomato soup can go straight on as well. So we'll chuck that in. That's 184. Look how cheap that is to make. Uh, let's sell that for eight. <laughs> let's just rip people off with that. And now, now we're going to go to desserts. We're going to take off mooncakes. I'm going to take off key lime pie, although that is probably very delicious. Uh, let's go here to the recipe editor, uh, go to there, and go to ice cream. This should be very intriguing indeed, because I don't know how this is going to work with the ingredients that we've got unlocked. Okay, I'm just going to call it creme du ice. <laughs> is that how the French say ice? I don't know. Creme du ice, which, you know, kind of means ice cream. I've chosen that for the visuals, whatever. I don't think you ever see them ever again, really, apart from a tiny picture on the menu. Okay, so we've only got 10. We've only got 10 scores so far. And we've put the milk and the cream and the sugar already in, allegedly. Now, the thing is, though, what if we now... Oh, yeah, look, now we can't put cream in because it's, it's counted as though it's there. Yeah, I think that's a bit of a bug. I don't think that picks... I don't think that picks the best tier ingredients. Because we've got cream, but it's not the best cream. 
It's not the finest cream that we just unlocked. And I bet, well, we haven't got high sort of quality milk and stuff. But I, I think it should be more than a 10. I think it should earn us more than 10. But okay, right. What do we add into ice cream then? Because really, that's kind of it, isn't it? <laughs> that's what an ice cream is. It, it's milk and cream and sugar. And then you put stuff on it. How about blueberries? Because they're always good. And then can we have some citrus kind of thrown into that? Just to make it look a bit, uh, taste a bit nicer. 44 to 69. So a lemon and lime kind of drizzle on the top or something. Blueberries actually in the ice cream. And it's on the little picture, which is quite nice. Um, what else? What else can we put in? Chili pepper. Just put some curry powder in it. That'll be fine. Vanilla. Vanilla for ice cream. That, that's that's got to be a good thing. That's That's not a good thing. That's not good, apparently. Oh, it's good if it's a sort of minor ingredient. Okay. Um, I don't really know what else we can do. Almonds? Just chuck some almonds on the top. Okay, fine. Well, that works quite well there. What if I put them in as a, mi a major ingredient? No. Bad, bad, bad almonds. Okay. Um, I don't know what else we can do. Chocolate. Can we have a chocolatey ice cream? No, we can't. What madness is this? In what world does chocolate not enhance ice cream? There we go. That's better. So we need something sour, salty, or bitter. Sour, salty, or bitter. I mean, I mean, kind of salt would salt would sort of work with that, wouldn't it? Salt. Have we got not nice salt? Salt. There we go. Can we put some salt in? Makes it go up to eighty six. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's put. What if we put it in as a major ingredient? One hundred and twenty four. Oh my goodness me. Yeah. Okay. This is working very well indeed. Uh, it's still a bit too sweet and a bit too fatty. We need something sour and bitter. Yes, yeah, sour and bitter. Well, that's bitter. Tea leaves. Chuck some tea leaves in. That reduces it down. What if we put tea leaves in there? 114. No. Let's put tea leaves in as a as a minor ingredient. And it offsets those. So it makes it not fatty. So now it's just a bit sweet. So sourness, saltiness, bitterness. What will help with that? I can't see anything immediately obvious. Coffee? Just chuck chuck a cup of coffee on there? No? Okay. I mean that's that's certainly that's certainly adding to the bitterness. Um, but now it's got a bit sour. Uh, and I don't know, that's not going to help, I don't think. That's not going to help. 254, it's going to cost 253. Do you know what? It balances the flavours out a little better if we put coffee in. If we put a little bit of coffee in, this is the. Uh, do you know what I should know? Because it's creme de ice is going to be for children. Children are going to be eating the ice cream. I can't put coffee in, in all good consciousness in something that children are going to have because they will go out of their child minds. They're bouncing off the walls if you give children coffee. So no, let's not do that. Let's not put alcohol in it either. Yeah, I don't think we can put any of these in. Like, if we chuck an egg, chuck an egg in, it just doesn't make sense. So Joe, I think that's fine. Creme du ice. We'll save that. Thank you very much. Let's add that to the menu. So creme de ice uh, is is where where is creme de ice hang on a moment don't tell me do not tell me that i can't have my ice cream you made me wait long enough for my cheesecake now you are tormenting me by not giving me my ice cream hang on recipe editor save save recipe save 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 save, save. i've saved the recipe look i'm pressing the button menu give me my ice cream do not do, do where's my ice cream no <laughs> i don't want to put moon cakes and key lime pie back on the menu these things are terrible oh that is just heartbreaking it's not there it's just not there it, it doesn't appear it does not appear in the list at all do i have to sort of come out the recipe editor i didn't do this before though did i i didn't do that before um well let's uh, what else can we make what's that that's a cheesecake that's a pie that's pastries. What about pie? Can we make a lime pie? We've got limes. I don't know how you make a key lime pie. I don't know what goes in it apart from limes and whatever makes a pie. Bread crumbs and sugar or something. I don't know. I don't know how to make a pie. Um, that looks that looks nice. Bit of cream on the top as well. Lovely. Um, okay, we're going to make a pie. I don't really know what to call it because it's going to be quite an unexpected mix of things. There we go. I'm going to call it unexpected mix of things pie because that seems to work quite well. Okay, we've got flour, sugar, and then whatever that's supposed to be up at the top there. What was this again? What fills this up? Flour and sugar is going to make the base with, with what is it, breadcrumbs or something? Or is that where the, cre the cream goes at the top? No. Okay, we can put the cream just there though. 
That makes it nice. That puts it up to 38. What if we put it down to the bottom? Oh, 30. No, an absolute major ingredient there. Let's have some nice cream on top of the pie. That's nice. Uh, also, we'll go there. Let's have some, some limes put in there. Yeah, that's nice. Bit of lemon. Makes it up to 71. Absolutely delicious. This is a lovely pie thus far. Right, what goes at the top? Biscuits? No. Bread? No. Breadcrumbs? No. Uh, bread. What, what fills in this gap here? Water? Do we put water or milk, possibly? Is it milk? No. Uh, okay. What? Ah, right. Ah, butter. Some sort of gelling agent to stick it all together. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Now, yeah, it's a bit fatty and a bit sweet. So let's try and offset some of that. Uh, tea leaves could bring that down quite nicely. Yeah, okay, that, that's helped a little bit. That's helped a little bit. Um, what else could we chuck in there? What else could we chuck in? Coffee. Coffee would certainly help with bitterness. And that's fine. So that goes up to 103 there or 98. Okay, put it in as a minor ingredient. Um, Cornstarch. Do we need that in there at all? Ooh, it's certainly not like that. No. No. Okay. Okay. Don't really care about cornstarch. That's fine. That's fine. Not bothered about that. So it's still, it's a bit sour now. It's a bit sour. Right. Where's this thing that branches out there? So the coffee doesn't go well with the with lots of things. The coffee is a bit of a weird thing. Ah, no, but... Uh, okay, right. The, oh, lots of things are clashing. The limes are brilliant. The limes... The lemon and the limes go with many things, it seems. But, yeah, that's it. Other things are just not complimentary. They're not working very well. I mean, we haven't got any salt. Does anything go in there? Saltiness? Sourness and bitterness is what we need. Sour and bitter. What is sour? What is bitter? What if we put some salt in? Makes it go up to 103, or just there goes to 98. So we don't want salt in it. Okay, what is sour and bitter? Okay, there we go. So I've put in some vanilla and a banana. <laughs> the banana seem to do quite a good job of balancing things out. So we've got taste 40, flavour 40. Yeah, okay, the sweetness and the sourness are a little bit high. They're a little tiny bit high. I mean, if we could find something that was very bitter. We've already put tea leaves in. <laughs> We've got crunched up tea leaves in our pie. If we could just find something that was bitter, then that might offset those. But everything else kind of comes with other things. It's not that it's just the thing that's bitter on its own. So yeah, I don't think we can actually find anything. But do you know what? I'm quite happy with that. A 120 sort of rating pie. That's absolutely fine. So yeah, we'll have that. Is that going to appear on our menu? Or are you going to break my heart a little bit? Oh no, there we go. Oh, that appears. I see. That can go for nine that can go for nine there we go so i can't have my ice cream which is a little bit heartbreaking i'll be honest um i'm not going to put the key lime pie back in i was tempted but i'm not going to okay so that's that done right now let, let's just move time on let's just sort of maybe run through a day just see what happens we really want to try and get up to 450 450 would be very useful oh there's only one person seating people and having a bit of a, a bit of a moment at the minute. Hang on, no, that's not the seating person that's struggling. It's the service thing, waiting to order and be served. I mean, yeah, it does fill up quite quick, doesn't it? It does fill up quite quick. I do find this a little bit limiting. I find this a little bit limiting. Like, for example, we've got Dora Lynn. She's welcoming people to the restaurant. That's fine. Right now, nothing happening. Right now, nothing happening. Just here, Liana is taking the money at the end of people's meals. Why can Liana? Not do that as a priority, but whilst there are people waiting to be served, go and serve them. Because I think she literally just stands around, I don't know, picking her nose and looking out the window and stuff, I don't know, until somebody needs to pay. So all the other guys are running around going, oh my goodness, there's 12 bazillion tables that will need to be served. Wah! And she's just there looking out the window, thinking about, you know, what bill she needs to pay or what she's going to watch on the telly tonight or whatever. So I don't know why she can't do that as a priority, but if there's tables to be served... She should do that as well. Or if there's people to be welcomed in, she should do that. I think that's that's a little bit limiting. I think that's a little bit limiting. But again, early access, they could probably look at that sort of thing. Um, it's looking pretty good in terms of monies. It's looking very nice. Now, yeah, we upped our monies. We upped our costs of primarily the drink, I think. We upped the beverage cost last time just to see if that would help. Uh, okay, so the restaurant's emptying out, but it is coming up to half two. That's sort of to be expected. That's absolutely fine. There's still a lot of people in here. There are a lot of people in here. Hang on, hang on. Can we can we slow down a little tiny bit? Can we go down to one speed? Uh, do they still cut carrots on that? Yes, they still cut carrots. They still cut carrots on that particular bench. Oh, they're both using it at the same time. 
but it's still carrots. Right, the chefs look very busy. They look very busy. And yeah, it does, it pains me a bit that we don't know what's going on with that. We don't know what's going on in that little sort of hob thing or in the oven or whatever. Is it full? Is it full? Do we need to invest in a new oven? Do we need to invest in a new hob? I don't know. I don't know how kind of, how, uh, uh, what usage they're getting out of these things. If it's full and it's always full and that's causing problems, then I'll go and buy you another one. But I don't know if they are. So yeah, that is something that needs to be looked at, I think. That is something that needs to be sort of implemented into the game. But right, okay. So let's rush time forward. Let's get to the end of lunchtime. It's still fairly busy, actually. It's still fairly busy. Quite a lot of people around. We'll probably end up with 6.5k at least by the end of lunchtime, I would have thought. Because by now, we would have spent money on the ingredients. So we might even get up to 7k, depending on you know, what people eat and stuff. Wow, that would be good. Oh, yeah, I think we'll get there. By the end of this lunchtime, if you could all hurry up and eat and clear off, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm all about customer service, me. Get out of my restaurant. Come on. How slow are you lot eating? You've been there for hours. <laughs> it's going to be cold. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Finish that. So yeah, look. 7K and rising. Oh, okay. That's very exciting. And we're on 425 popularity as well. Look, you two. Can you just go now, please? Look, there you go. Bye. Bye-bye. Hopefully see you again another time. Right. This is splendid. Right, they're sort of uh, they're doing a crazy jig. And now evening session begins. There's already people queuing up. Um, okay, I think we just sort of leave it. I think we just leave it for a bit. I think everything's looking pretty good in this restaurant. Everything's looking looking kind of nice. I mean, in stats-wise, if we look at the customer... No, not that. If we look at orders, people seem to be very happy with what they're ordering. Uh, you spent 40 40 of your most 50 of the monies. Wow, I like you, Zoe. You're ah, you're a high-class touristy person. Okay. So um yeah, there's plenty, there's plenty. All these people spending all that money. It's all very very lovely. Yeah, and more people are coming in. Uh let's check the reviews briefly. Uh okay, more toward very good than excellent. I'm still taking that. Prices are all right. Excellent food, excellent atmosphere, good service. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it is the small kitchen that's now limiting us. Maybe it is the kitchen. And unfortunately, there's very little that we can do to try and find out any kind of in-depth sort of stats and metrics on how the kitchen is performing, which is a little bit frustrating. But there we go. Uh, well, I don't really see anything else for us to do. Let's just push time on until the end of the evening session and see what happens. Okay, while the day's been ticking on, I've just gone and tried to create another ice cream. So I've got it cold and creamy. It's up to 104. I can't remember what the other one was. Uh, a taste of 29, a flavour of 40. I'm pretty happy with that. That's fine. And let's see if this works. Let's see if this particular ice cream works. I've chosen a kind of weird colour thing. I mean, it's green. Green with some berries on top. I'm a bit disappointed the colours look like that. That the sort of the style of the ice cream, sorry, has to look like that. Because on the little picture on the menu thingamabob... It looks quite nice. So if we save that, just to get rid of that, and then if we put that there, that's what I think of an ice cream as. A little ice cream there with some chocolate drizzle on it, and then like, you know, wafer straw thing sticking out and that. Not not a round thing with a little biscuity base type thing. That's just a bit dull. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, come out of this. Abandon. I don't want to pick a template. How do I go back in? Oh, I can't. <laughs> I want to add something to my existing thing. I want to add something to my menu item, please. Can I do that? Can I still add things? Um, uh, no, I think that's going to confuse it. Okay, never mind. Right, can we add that to the menu? Can we add that? No, no. Ice cream doesn't work. That's that's really, really disappointing. I was working toward ice cream. I put points into ice cream. That's really irritating. Okay, never mind. Right, okay, right, okay. Time has not passed very much. Right, speed things on, speed things on to the end of the day. Oh, it's a bit of a shame. The pantalone in fiamme will not be able to serve ice cream. That is a bit disappointing. However, the money rolling in is not disappointing. That is looking very good indeed. Now, recently, in recent days, we've been making just under a grand. We're making just under $1,000 on beverages. I would like to see what that is going up to now. I'd like to see what that is going up to because that is where we sort of put the prices up quite a bit. We put some price up across the board on a few other places. I think the soups all went up, didn't they? I put those up. But really, it was the drinks. So if you know, they prove to be a nice money maker, that could be a place we can target You know, fairly easily. We could just notch them up again and go, well, people bought the drinks. Let's add another dollar to the price of the drinks. There we go. And make some more sort of free, easy money. But we've got to wait until the end of the day. How are the reviews doing? 
Yep, still looking pretty good. Our ambience has come down a little bit. That was maxed out, wasn't it? But that's come down. But still, we've got an excellent atmosphere rating. So that's fine. Prices are good, but not brilliant. But yeah, OK, fine. I'm still happy with this. It's all looking very good. OK, time is ticking on. It's just gone past 11 o'clock. There's still quite a few people in. There's quite a few people in. Our money is almost at 10k. I wonder if we will hit 10k before the end of the day. And that'll obviously come straight back down. That'll come straight back down. Ingredients, costs and all the other stuff. Wages and rent and all that. But if we could get that. And also 450 is what we needed to unlock these decision thingamajiggers. Where are they? Hang on. They're in there, aren't they? So we've got a couple of these things to make. So yeah, we've got the food processing ink who can make fancy kitchen things and Icoa tables. The closed beta for tables. We can now unlock those and we have gone over 10 grand. Okay, that's very exciting. So did we make did we make 2,800? We made nearly three grand. Wow. Okay. So yeah, so budget 8,214. That's what we've got to take with us to the next day. Yeah, so between the difference between 5,300 and 8,200 is that there. So yeah, that kind of works out. That's all fine. So yeah, look at that. The drinks actually didn't make that much more than I was hoping. The food has gone up, all right? The food's gone up, okay. Raw ingredients still cost quite a bit. Rent and personnel, maintenance. Now, yeah, this is a bug. This is a bug that we're absolutely taking a massive benefit from because the policies are, are costing us nothing, yet we've got four of them active, have we? So, I mean, that's that's helping out, which is fine. I'm, I'm not going to complain about that. It's fine. Maybe we've got something on the people that run the policies company. <laughs> Maybe we've got some dirt on them and we're just using it to, you know, a bit of, bit of leverage, that's all. But there we go. Right, okay, that, that's good. That's good. So, if we pause it right now, one thing I was thinking... One thing I was thinking as I was just watching the sort of the time pass by was that some of the things that you might expect to find in a restaurant are not there. Like pizza. I would expect pizza to be a, a staple thing in a restaurant. Pizza's a good thing. That's not on there. I don't think pizza is a thing that you can have, which is a bit of a shame. But there we go. I'm sure there's a fair few other things as well that we could add in that are not there, which is a shame. But there we go. Right. So next time, next time we're going to spend some time looking at this stuff. We're going to get the food processing ink contract. We'll get Icoa's contract and maybe we can do some kitchen stuff because here you go, some good quality tools for your kitchen. So that might be good. So we might be able to get rid of some of our old stuff, invest some of our monies and get some nice new fancy uh, tools that might be lower maintenance as well, which might be quite nice. And we'll take a look at the uh, the Icoa tables. So yeah, they're starting their restaurant division, allow you to participate in betas for uh, participate sorry in their exclusive closed beta for tables. So that might be interesting as well. Now, I don't know if that's just tables or if that's tables and other ambience things as well. I don't know. But that could be very interesting as well. And we shall look at that next time. As well as expanding all our other stuff. I'm a little bit sad that we can't get ice cream. I'm a little bit sad. But do you know what? Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. We'll cope with that ice cream. I mean, where do we head next? Where do we head? I think perhaps we just get on with this. Let's just get up to the top level of meat. Let's just become meat kings. Protein king and anatomical encyclopedia. That makes the meat ingredients cheaper, which is a good thing. And that just increases the quality of the meat. So that's got to be a good thing. That has got to be a good thing. And then, um, yeah, we can get some of these things as well. We get some fried... Have we got fried meat? Uh, I think we have. Oh, yeah, the the, the cluck cluck. The fr curry cluck cluck wings, whatever they're called. <laughs> that thing's fried meat. Maybe we need to do some more of that as well. Do some more of that. Get some more ingredients. Oh, it, it's still, there's still quite a lot to do. There's quite a lot to do in Chef as well as unlocking those sort of decision thingamabobbers. So, yes, we shall check uh, take a look at those next time out. But, yeah, we're done for now. If you are enjoying this, if you're still enjoying Chef, then please do leave a like. It's very useful. Likes are really handy to know whether you're actually enjoying the stuff or not. And if you are not already subscribed, then please do so. Just to keep up to date with how we get on in Chef. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. That's a kind of hammery thing. There's some sort of pliers. Oil filter. Yes, I found the oil filter. It's a murder weapon. That looks like it says brake fluid. I don't want to drink brake fluid. Toothpicks. Spanners. A brown car. Why do all the cars look the bloody same? I'm not buying one of these. These are clearly awful.